by asking the questions. If you've got any situation regarding this, feel free to call up, inshallah ta'ala. We've got our first caller, inshallah ta'ala. Um, Salaamu alaykum wa rahmatullah. How are you lads? I have no question there about a woman I was dating. Okay. It was basically, the story goes like this. I was tapping a bird there last few weeks, you know. Her name is Anne Clark. She's from Schlegel. And she's stacked. Ah, she's savage. Hey. Some body in her. I met her in Innes Grown Beach there a fucking few weekends ago, you know. And I, I, I was tapping away with her anyways. And we were kind of going out, you know. We were kind of shifting and doing other stuff on the side. So, anyway, one of my cousins came down from Longford. And we were on the piss there one night, right? Whatever happened, I went home early because I was absolutely steamboats from, from all the fucking pints I was drinking. So I went home and uh, I left the girlfriend there, Anne Clark, you know, in the pub. Because I said the cousin would look after her. He'd bring her back to the cottage, you know. Anyways, three o'clock, they weren't home. Four o'clock, they weren't home. Five o'clock, they weren't home. Six o'clock, they fucking weren't home, yes. Seven o'clock, they came in the door. Come in the door, I heard them banging. I said, sure, fuck it, I'll stay asleep. Let them off to sleep, thinking the woman, Anne Clark, come into the bed beside me. She did? Did she fuck? Anyways, sure, I left them at it, thinking they'd be sound. I thought she might sleep on the couch, you know, and I had the spare bed made for the cousin. And uh, went into the room ten minutes later. She was spread fucking eagled on the bed. And I'll tell you, I won't tell you what he was doing to her, but he was doing awful things. I don't kiss and tell, but he was doing rotten things to her, really. Things that I, I wouldn't even think about doing. Bismillah. Bismillah, Bismillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah. Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'altahu sahla wa anta alladhi idha shi'ta tij'al al-hazna sahla. Allahumma sahl, Allahumma sahl. O oh Allah, give her the speech, inshallah. Allahumma give her the power to continue her speech, ya Allah. I never thought of it like that, no. Carry on, inshallah. All right, would you relax? Carry on, inshallah. Anyway, sure, I was fucking Anything pure pissed off, and I ran the two of them out of the house. They were gone, like, you know, I didn't want to talk to the cousin again. He, he's a prick. That's the second time he's done that, right? So I thought that'd be the end of it. Little did I fucking realize, I'd see them down the town there a few weeks later, and fucking them telling me, holding hands, tell, sh telling me she's pregnant. Sure, I don't want to be hearing that fucking shit. So what happened then was, I tackled the cousin, and we had a big fucking fight, and I won't say what happened, but... You know, I, I fucking stabbed him with punches to the face and, uh, you know, punches were thrown, boxes were fucking landed, shots were fucking delivered. His, his eyes went fucking black from punches. And sure, he got me a few slaps, you know. I, I fell over as well, I had a few drinks on me, so I fell over and I got uh, a bush in the old leg, you know. Got a big old fucking slit down the side of my leg, but I'm alright. Fucking, I'm, it's only the ego that's hurt a bit. But she was saying that I'm only a bollocks and all this stuff and, and I was saying, fuck you, you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean, lads? But the, the cousin, like, you know, he was thick as well, like, and I've known that lad since we were born. But yes, he's, he's, he meets a girl one night and he goes off with her. And I wouldn't mind, but she's my fucking, she was my girlfriend at the time, not anymore. Do you know? So, I mean, that's not, that's not right at all. Would you agree with me, lads? Like, that's, that's bad form, you know? So, this, this is my cousin, Alan, like, I'm thinking about bringing him to court. But they were saying, oh, don't, don't bring us to court now, because if you bring us to court now, we'll fucking press charges for punching me, for punching me cousin, Alan, you know. But I said, oh, I'll bring you to court, and I'll do you, I, you'll be doing fucking time, hey. Time for taking my girlfriend, that's a fact. So I was wondering, uh, could I bring him to court? Uh, do I have any grounding at all, or is that possible? What do you think, boys? You're breaking up there. My sister, why, why they pre prevent you to go to court? I was the cousin. He thinks he's fucking Mr. Magic Man. I mean, he reckons if I bring him to court, he's going to counter sue me. But the fucking joke is on him because I have no money. So do, so do, you, do, do you mean a magician or somebody send this gin to block you to speak or to go to Exactly, exactly, yeah. That's what he's saying. He reckons if I bring him to court... He'd press charges against me. You know what I mean? He'd counter sue me. So what's he fucking on about? She's my woman. You blocked her, ya Adullah. Huh? Ha? You enemy of Allah, you blocked her, huh? To who, Alan? But inshallah, Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala block you in this dunya. Say that again, good laddie. In the akhirah. Remember, ya ayyuh al jinn. Remember, inshallah, that you are going to stand before Allah. Yawm al-qiyamah, and Allah is going to ask you why you enter this body. 
what you are going to say to Allah Ta'ala يوم القيامة يوم لا ينفع مال ولا بنون إلا من أتى الله بقلب سليم ها so that's exactly what I fucking said to him. I mean, like, if he presses charges against me, I'm fucking, I'm going to batter him. What does the other lad think? What you are going to say to Allah Ta'ala or the jinn in that body? To who, Alan? What you are going to say to Allah Ta'ala? I have no need to get in fucking take, you know, I, I'm off. Good luck. What you are going to say to Allah? I stop giving out with you. 